Morning guys, happy Monday. So I've just taken Andrew to work and it's about quarter to eight. As I said, I'm going to do a few hours of overtime this morning. But I thought what I'd make as a bank holiday treat is Slimming World pancakes. Now I have done a proper um, video for this, which is down below my in my list. But I just thought I'd sort of do a quicker version. So I've got my 40 grams of oats. And what I've done is I've actually blended these with my Kenwood hand blender. And that's not a tweak because it's a measured portion of oats and it's just been blended so that it's finer. And then what you need is two beaten eggs. They're very yellow because they're, um, they're fresh. Andrew, again, Andrew gets them from someone at work. Then I've got a teaspoon of baking powder, which is half a sin, and two teaspoons of uh, sweetener. The recipe says three, but I'm actually going to use some of my syrup uh, to sweeten it. So yeah, a teaspoon of baking powder for half a sin because it will really help it sort of rise and stay together and two teaspoons of sweetener so yeah you've got your oats oats, egg, sweetener and baking powder give that a bit of a mix You don't need to blend your oats. In the recipe that I did below, um, I didn't blend them. It's coming together now. Um, you should probably, actually, you should probably use a hand mixer to do this bit, but I haven't got that out. So, so as I say, I'm just going to add some of my. Jordan Skinny Syrup Caramel Flavour. You can get these in TK Maxx or there's a website and they are free. And they just add some lovely flavour. It's quite thick is that mixture actually with blending the oats. But we'll see how it goes. Not very professional. I forgot the yogurt, that's why it's so thick. So you need about two tablespoons of a vanilla yogurt. Well, you can use any fat free yogurt you want, but I do find it's better with the vanilla, toffee, caramel, that kind of flavour, uh, rather than a fruit one. But if fruit's all you have and you really want to try it, then yeah, it will still work. So we'll add a bit of yoghurt and hopefully that will loosen it up a bit. That's better. Much better now. Sorry about that guys. It's still early morning. Yeah, that's, that's more like the consistency it should be. Much better. That's much better now. So it should be like the consistency of a cream. Um, and all you do is pour that out and fry it in fry light and you will have pancakes. So I've got my warm pan with um, fry light. I'm just going to pour. You can, you can do a big whole one if you want to. Or a few small ones. and just leave them for a few minutes and then flip them so that is how you do it I'm really looking forward to these it's like a bank holiday treat so here is my finished pancakes so I've got some strawberries in the layers I've got the rest of the activity yogurt 
And then I've got half a sin of chuck shot. Squeezed over. So that plate will be one sin. And I'll put the recipe for the pancakes on my Instagram and Facebook. And also, I've also put the um, quiche recipe on my Facebook and Instagram. So pop over and check those out if you're interested. This is my bank holiday breakfast. I right, finished work for the morning so I've done three hours of overtime and let this dog out for a wee wee and he's sunbathing well look at this little sun worshipper is that nice just waiting for my dinner so I'll show you that in a second yeah it must be warm enough for him to sit outside in the sunshine Right, my Monday lunch is a jacket potato and this weighed over 400 grams so I have cut some off. I've got a, t um, a tub of beans and 30 grams of cheese and that's chip spice. And then I've got some stir fry veg and I've just torn up a bit of lettuce to add to it, to add to the speed. And then I've got a apple and satsuma for pudding and a no added sugar lemonade. And he's come in now, there's some food on the agenda. We've come to our local nature reserve for Alfie's walk this afternoon. <clears throat> so it takes us about an hour or just over um, to get round and I'll show you some clips as we go around. So this is where we're coming in here at the car park and we'll go all the way around. We pass several um, bodies of water so it's really nice plants and benches and this is Barlow Common and Alfie really likes it here as well so as I say I'll show you some uh, clips as we go around lots of nice body magic um, weather is warmish nice breeze a bit patches of sun cute carved wooden posts all over the walks and that's a duck and it says teal I'm not quite sure what that means some kind of 
like walk route or something. But this is one of the ponds or bodies of water. And then they've got these handcrafted benches. It says, in every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. So I have a little sit down here and look at the water. The end of your walk you've got these mushrooms, carved mushrooms which are also all through the walk. Sorry there's a dog that's barking at Alfie. And you've got picnic tables and toilets. So it's a lovely place to visit. So if anyone's in the North York if anyone's in the North Yorkshire area. You've got a little friend there look. Then it's really lovely just for a short walk. Good afternoon guys, we're back from our walk on the common which was lovely and the sun has come out. Alfie's actually laying in the garden again in the sunshine. So I thought I'd show you what's in my freezer. Now this time it's just going to be this freezer in the kitchen. Some of you might know I've got a freezer in the garage but I'll go through that one another time otherwise it'll be too long. So the first thing is my frozen fruit, which is, it's called a strawberry and banana smoothie mix and this is from Waitrose or Cardo. Um, and although it's called a smoothie mix, you can see that it's just frozen fruit so you get strawberries and bananas in that one. And these clips are brilliant. Get them from kitchen shops like Lakeland and you can just um, clip it to stop it from falling out everywhere. Um, some of these things might be Andrews and please check the sin values out for yourself because I'm not a consultant and I don't know the sins of everything. So we've got two packs of fruit tea cakes. They are quite tempting when they're um, toasted with butter, but um, that's one reason why I um, pre-prepare my breakfast so it's all there ready. Then I've got a pack of spoiled pig bacon, all the fat removed and that will be free. Um, the frozen chocolate yoghurt from Waitrose. I believe the sins have changed for this, it was lower sins but it's now I think four and a half sins for 100 ml but uh, that is really worth a try uh, Belgian chocolate frozen yoghurt again from Waitrose then we have these are mini crumpets get one out I can't remember how many sins they are I think they're two and a half two or two and a half each um, but yeah they're nice if you're fancying something like a crumpet toasted as a snack then if you can get hold of them they're really nice 
um, white Warburton pins. Andrew likes these for his sandwiches. Some of the wholemeal ones are Healthy Extra B, just check the app. And again, you'll see this out on the side, white bread for Andrew's breakfast and sandwiches. On to the second drawer, we have Corvus Premium Baked Wholemeal. Now one slice of this, because it's an 800 gram loaf, one slice of this is your healthy extra B. But what I do is I cut the crusts off two slices until I get a weight of 60 grams and count that as my healthy extra B. It's completely up to you whether you use one slice, protect your own weight loss, check with your consultant. But that's what I do and I very rarely have bread, I have it like once a week. But that's, that's a really nice wholemeal loaf. Then we have frozen sliced peppers. These are from Morrison's. Uh, very annoying, waitros don't do things like this so I have to go and get special trips out. But it's really a good idea to have frozen veg in your fridge so that you've always got speed food on the, on the go. Um, then we've got some frozen chicken breasts. Something that every Slimming Worlder probably has. Again, frozen onions for convenience. We've got some of the sin free sausages, Slimming World sausages from Iceland. Then we've got, this has come out of the packet, but this is from Iceland. And this is the, like the summer fruits mix, and it's oranges, mango, and pineapple. And it's the one that you got free when you bought three meals. So I've got a few packets of that. Then I've got, you'll have seen this before, it's the um, grilled vegetable mix from Waitrose or Ricardo, which is half a sin for 100 grams because it contains oil. So you can just fry this up in your active fry or frying pan and it's a nice accompaniment to things like rice or whatever you want to use it for. Fish fingers, again these are for Andrew, but I think they are quite low sin. I think they're one or two sins each, um, but something handy, something quick. And for when you fancy in a bit more of a treat, these McCain Rustic Chips, 3% fat, these are one and a half sins for 100 grams, so it's three sins for 200 grams. And you get a fair amount for 200 grams. So if you're having a lazy day, you can't bother to do your own chips, then these are really good to have in. Right, third draw. So we have the Bird's Eye Steam Fresh Veg Packs, four minutes in the microwave. This one is Hearty Farmhouse Mix. So it's carrots, cauliflower and broccoli. Um, and what I do is I cook one of these and then I usually have carrot chips or add some more speedy veg um, because quite often one of these is not quite a third of your plate but it's certainly a good starting place uh, if you're just starting out on Slimming World and you want something quick and easy. Uh, I've got some frozen chicken mini fillets. I would use something like, something like this for my rice bowls or sandwiches. Dead easy. Got some garden peas, some frozen cauliflower. We've also got frozen broccoli in the other freezer. That's again from Waitrose, but I'm sure a lot of places do that. More sliced peppers, more veg packs, more veg packs. Get through a lot. Another veg pack. There are a few different ones, so just check which vegetables you like. Uh, potato waffles, I believe these are these are quite low sin. Check check them out because I'm not sure, but these are Andrews, but they're, they're quite they're okay. I think they I don't know how much they are, but check them out if you fancy that potato waffles. Um, actually, I can't remember how many sins these are either, but these are quite low hash brown potato waffles so if you fancy something like that on your breakfast they're quite small 
um, but a couple of these would do would uh, do you nicely. If I remember, I'll um, I'll come back on in a bit when I've checked the sin values and let you know. So that's hash browns. So I've got those in if I ever fancy them. Um, pack of frozen boiled rice. This is part of the pack that you get from Iceland. It comes in a purple packet and it's just microwave three or four minutes and you've got a portion of rice done. Um, we've got another pack of the um, grilled vegetable mix from Waitrose. Another pack another pack of garden peas and some roast potatoes for Andrew for when he's feeling lazy or when he wants a bit more of a treat than, than Slimming World roast potatoes and then these are the solo ice creams from um, Iceland so these are five sins each and they come in like the red fruit flavours and the yellow fruit flavours and they are five sins each so this one is raspberry and this one is sour cherry so I've got a few of those to get through uh, and they are called Solo from Iceland final draw for this freezer Andrew got himself a treat some Mackey's traditional vanilla ice cream don't ask me the sins of that because I don't, I don't even look but I'm sure that's very nice then we've got more of the Waitrose grilled vegetable mix. I need to uh, get some cooking in using that. Then we've got more Warburton Thins, the white ones. We've got some sin-free uh, sin meatballs from Iceland. We've got a Aunt Bessie's sweet potato. These are free on the plan. Um, they're really handy just to have in. They take about lots of instructions. They take seven minutes in the microwave, so that's dead handy. And it's a bit of a different thing from a baked potato. So that is Aunt Bessie's sweet potato when you get two in the pack. We sell them at Iceland and probably all the major supermarkets. Then we've got these are quite low sin because I did buy them for me but Andrew's been eating them I can't remember how many they are but just stick lollies all made of water from Iceland so it's worth when you go to a freezer shop like Iceland look look for the water lollies and then look at the sins because the, the, they'll definitely be under five sins these um, then we've got some of the ice cream chocolates from Aldi that were part of the Christmas range these are one and a half sins each. You won't be able to buy them now, I'm afraid, but look out for them next Christmas. Uh, one and a half sins each. Um, and I believe Aldi, uh, Lidl do some with Quark that are one sin each. So if you're a Lidl shopper, then they're available there too. And finally, I just keep, I've just kept this for emergencies. I think it's about seven and a half, eight sins. Um, uh, Waitrose mini chicken korma. This is the type of thing I used to eat before I started Slimming World but I've just kept it all this time just in case I have an emergency where I need something really really quick. So yeah that's what's in my freezer. Right guys I've just got a little list here of the sins for some of the things in the freezer. So the chocolate yoghurt, the chocolate frozen yoghurt from Waitrose that is 4.5 sins per 100 mils. The bird's eye fish fingers are two sins each. The bird's eye potato waffles are 2.5 sins each. The hash brown waffles are 1.5 sins each. And the Mackey's ice cream for Andrew, are you ready for this? Is 11 sins for 100 mil. So we won't be trying that anytime soon, will we? And one thing I forgot is we usually have 5% mince, but that is currently in the slow cooker for our tea tonight. So I've got about half an hour before I've got to go and collect Andrew so I'm going to watch a bit of trash TV, go and collect him and I'll show you my tea and my supper later on. For Monday evening meal I have slow cooker mince which has a Coleman's mix, it's made with a Coleman's mix so that's three sins for my portion and then I have mashed potatoes mashed with fromage fray garlic granules and mixed herbs 
and then some mixed veg so I've got my carrots peas cauliflower and carrots and then um, I've made another meringue dessert so I've got some of the frozen pineapple and mango that was in my freezer with a meringue nest for two and a half sins I'm going to have that with a peach and pineapple muller light and a squirt of orange chock shot so that will be three sins so all in all that's six sins but I think it's nice to spend sins on your dinner sometimes and not just on snacks for Monday evening snacks I have Aldi cheese curls for three sins I have two of these Neapolitan chocolates also from Aldi one and a half sins so three sins for those and they look like these. I'm not sure if they always have them in stock because it's like a seasonal thing but it's worth keeping an eye out. As I say they're one and a half sins each. Um, and then I've got a satsuma and my fruit tea in my Little Miss Princess mug. So I end the day on 13 sins and I'm really happy with how today has gone so thank you for watching.